I now know with the resources we already mined, the knowledge we already have, it's highly feasible to take care of all of humanity. The highest standard living anybody's ever known. We now know actually the critical path of how we phase out the fossil fuels burning, how we phase out the nuclear, how we do bring in the wind power, how we do bring in the the hydrogen powers and, and so forth. It, it actually can be done by 1985. In the United States of America, when millions of people were going uh, and, and shopping like crazy, there were a few million other people around the world who didn't buy a single thing. Oh, it's so hard to believe. Kali, I mean, Black Friday is like a tradition. People love to go out on this day and shop. We absolutely but, love it. Why do you want them to quit but, shopping? But think about it. After this very spiritual holiday of uh, Thanksgiving, why is it that our culture is somehow then requiring us to go out the next day and, and, and max out on our credit cards and, 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 and buy probably more than we need to buy? I, I think that the, what those people who, those millions of people who went shopping today, I think what they're missing is they don't quite understand the consequences of, of their consumption because overconsumption has ecological consequences. Uh, you know, that uh, uh, overconsumption is in some sense the, the mother of all our environmental problems. Oh, come on, environmental problems? Light them all up. Come on, fire. And Queen Miss Floor that is with us. Thank you so much for being here. And he ran his flowers with a cross kick to his stomach. Then he punched the man repeatedly while he was on the ground. It's all about going after Americans who are struggling in poverty. If it were up to me, I would not have another lost bill in this country. Did the jury find George Zimmerman not guilty? It's very important that we don't forget the growth and the jobs. You're going to choke off job recovery in the future. Everybody knows that. The Duchess of Cambridge has gone to labor. Competition is expected to only get fiercer with a limited number of jobs. The market is moved against you. Our priority has to be jobs and what Wall Street is doing well. We cannot continue down this path. Coming up here today, I have no hidden agenda. I am fighting for my future. Losing my future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. I am here to speak for all generations to come. I am here to speak, speak on behalf of the starving children around the world whose cries go unheard. I think what will let main legacy of Voyager is to, in fact, have opened up our solar system in a way uh, which was not possible from before the space age. It revealed all of our neighbors in the solar system, uh, in a, and, and it showed us how much there was to learn and how diverse the bodies are that share the solar system with our own planet Earth. I am afraid to go out in the sun now because of the holes in our ozone. I am afraid to breathe the air because I don't know what chemicals are in it. I used to go fishing in Vancouver, my home, with my dad, until just a few years ago, we found the fish full of cancers. And now we hear of animals and plants going extinct, every day, vanishing forever. I think that I'm proudest of the impact that you really had, and, and so it was surprising. I did not realize how much impact it would have. When we flew by Neptune, people were standing to planetariums in order to be able to see the images coming in from uh, Georgia because they weren't on the web in those days. It just means that our science, the science of planetary astronomy, is alive and well and expanding. Wait a minute. It just means that our science, the science of planetary astronomy, is... What is it? Alive.
child and I don't have all the solutions. But I know, I want you to realize, neither do you. You don't know how to fix the holes in our ozone layer. You don't know how to bring the salmon back up in a dead stream. You don't know how to bring back an animal now extinct. And you can't bring back the forest that once grew where there is now a desert. If you don't know how to fix it, please stop breaking it. You got into the mess by, uh, by not paying attention and by business as usual. Humans have been on this planet for something like a million years. And for the vast bulk of that time, things change extremely slowly. Population increased very slowly. Our technology increased to improved by very slow steps. And just recently, you know, this is what's called an exponential. It's flat for a long time and then boom! You suddenly get a huge increase. Increase in population, increase in technology, increase in pollution, increase in our powers to disturb the environment, to change the planetary environment. But we're the same old human beings. Uh, as, as we were a thousand years ago and a hundred thousand years ago, uh, not much has changed with us. And so it's very hard for us to catch on that, uh, that there's a new situation and we have to adapt to it. On the other hand, that's one thing we humans are good at, uh, adapting, figuring out. Uh, uh, we're smart, that's our principal advantage over all the other species. We're not faster, stronger, better diggers. We don't fly all by ourselves. Uh, what we do is figure out and build because of our, our hands. And so uh, uh, I think there's uh, certainly a chance of getting out of this mess, but not by business as usual, not by the idea that uh, that we shouldn't plan ahead, not by the idea that anybody can do whatever the hell they want and uh, it doesn't uh, affect the environment. There has to be a new way of looking at the world. We must keep our eyes on the main goal. We need financial institutions that are healthy enough to deliver the credit our economies need to create growth and jobs. Growth and jobs. Growth and jobs. We take, we make, and we dispose. A new phone comes out, so we ditch the old one. Our washing machine packs up, so we buy another. Each time we do this, we're eating into a finite supply of resources and often producing toxic waste. It simply can't work long term. We can say without a doubt that this system is an absolute failure. From the most rational, objective economic standpoint, it's a failure. Less than 5% of the world's population live in the United States. We are consuming over 25% of the world's resources and creating roughly 30% of its major pollution. That's a failure. Ultimately, we've got to go to the root cause of the wound. Where is this disease coming from? Where is this injury coming from? What's the problem? And in almost every case today, the problem is the system we've created.